Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Good To Go. It is Thursday, March 10th, as we're filming this. From Oakland, California, I'm Noah Kravitz, editor-at-large for TechnoBuffalo.com. And I'm James Kendrick for ZDNet Mobile News. James, what's going on today? How are you? Oh, good. It's been a busy week. I've been interviewing or, or reviewing stuff like crazy. Not interviewing. <laughs> Reviewing product like crazy. I'm like my my brain is fried. Well, well plug it, man. Any uh, any good reviews uh, coming up on your blog? Well, I uh, actually just today I I finally got around to publishing my Motorola Zoom review, which yeah, it maybe wasn't as uh, <laughs> gratuitous as some Android fans would have liked. There's your there's the uh, one line uh, one line teaser. So if you want to find out uh, just how James ripped it apart, you can head over to the blog. And uh, no, I I, 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 um, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I experienced some similar things. John did the review for us. Um, but uh, definitely some stuff I like about it, some stuff maybe not quite ready for prime time, if you want to put it that way. But. Yeah, well, I guess my, my basic take of it was I see – a ton of potential in the Zoom and Honeycomb with Android, but it's not there yet. Yeah. You know, it's just going to take some time. And you know, the big question is, how much time does any any of these guys have in this game? Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, there's a product going on sale tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m. That I I forget the name of it. We don't need to talk about it. But, uh, magical, I hear. Yeah, magical. Exactly, exactly. Also, a uh, quick note to everybody who's watching. First of all, thank you for watching the show last week. The uh, the feedback we got was awesome and, uh, you know, psyched to be doing it. Um, all of the comments about the audio, especially on my end, or not especially, but the audio on my end, duly noted. I've got a mic that we're using this week that is not, uh, you know, straight up, it's probably not going to yield the 100% results we want. So for next week, I will be fully prepared. I, uh, I, may, I may go, I, you know, we should get some headset sponsors, I think. And uh, a lot, Well, a lot of people, I've been doing these kind of things for a lot of years, and it's pretty funny. Audio is the hardest part of video yeah, stuff to is. get straight. Yeah. I mean, it still blows me away. Yeah, why and, that I'm, and I'm used to doing, uh, you know, the stuff, whether reviews or edit shows or whatever, with a camcorder set up. So doing this off of the computer, you know, I'm sort of scrambling around. I've got a, I've got a USB interface. I've got a, I've got a lavalier mic somewhere. I don't know. So you know, this one should be better. But, but for next time, I, I got to raise my game. I know it. So anyway, enough of that. Um, you know, speaking about that, that magical thing coming out tomorrow that, uh, that we're not going to talk about. What should we talk about? You have any ideas? Well, I've been giving a lot of thought to the competition. You know. Why? We, there's no shortage of, of tablets hitting, hitting the market or about to hit the market. And I, I've been doing a lot of thought, well, which of these, if any, even have a shot, you know, at, at scratching into the, uh, the deep trench that Apple has dug with that other product, right. you know, and it's, it's tough. I mean, I was, I was really looking for more from the zoom. Mm -hmm. Is this the first ha honeycomb tablet that we've seen? It's not there. I mean, the Zoom is the one that I was hoping was going to be the most potential good competitor because of honeycomb, and it's not there. I mean, quite frankly, it's right. going to take some time. Right. And yeah. Yeah. It's not there. I thinking back on all of the various tablets and and things that I've seen directly. I mean right in front of my own face and I I really think that WebOS with an HP's touchpad has the most potential because mm -hmm. everything that I saw I, I mean I watched that thing for well over an hour yeah. I mean they would let us touch it which was right uh, you how, know how, but I how? was I was right there it was right in front of me and and they were pretty open. I mean, the the representative who was running things did everything I asked. Just right. I mean, it was it was like I was touching it, except <laughs> without right. The feedback. Right. And I I came away from that convinced, and I'm still convinced today. Well, so let let's dive into that a little bit then. What do uh, what do they need to do? 
release Beyond, it. You know, obviously they've got what, what was that? Release it. Release it. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, well, that's it. And you, you mean, I, you know, it's, it's impossible not to look back to, you know, the first pre, and you know, like you alluded to, there's a long gap between the CES press conference that knocked everybody's socks off, and when they finally shipped it. Um, I would, you know, also throw in there. Uh, carrier choice, distribution channels, and developer support. Um, you know, this time around, especially with developer support, um, I, I keep talking to people who say it, it's going to be a, a big, big hurdle for them to, uh, to get over. Um, and, and as much as I like to scoff at the importance of apps, you know, the numbers don't lie. The number of apps out there in the iTunes store now, you know, the growing Android market. I mean, even going back to the Zoom for a second, for me, that's one of the things that, you know, there were some bugs, there were some issues with the display quality, there were some, you know, whatever, but there aren't that many apps that are 3 optimized, that are dual core optimized, that really show what this thing can do and, and set it apart. And, you know, at, at that event, we were both at for, for HP with WebOS. Afterwards, I, uh, I ran into... Um, somebody very high up at a well-known technology magazine, and we'll leave it at that. And I asked this person, you know, what they thought, and they said, you know, we got to the, the, the products look cool, the, the Pre-3, you know, looks like a nice, a, a nice evolutionary upgrade. The tablet, you know, looks really great, but man, we got to the developer part of the thing, and they bring up, you know, the, the time thing, showing some magazines, and then a 14-year-old kid nobody's ever heard of. And, and yeah, you know that where, where are the uh, where are the big gaming partners? Where are the where are the developers, and how are they going to get them? Well, I agree, apps are really important, but I I have to step back from that a little bit because, quite frankly, Apple's lead with the the iPad is so large, no one is ever going to catch them. Right, right. So right. if that's going to be our big criteria then let's just games over let's just all go buy iPads right. well yeah. they don't have to catch them but 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 where apps are really important and this is what got me thinking a lot about the touchpad are to fill the needs and the gaps that the out of box experience with the tablet gives you agreed yeah and i think that's why the user experience I've had with the Zoom has been so frustrating because there are tiny gaps and no apps. Right. But everything that I have seen is that, is that uh, a- apps not gaps? Is that that should be our show yeah, uh, our yeah, show gap, motto. Gaps not apps or something like that. Yeah. But what I saw from the touchpad with WebOS, okay? The, the, the real core functionality, you know, the email and the web and the the social networking and all the stuff that we do all the time was rock solid. Right. right okay. I mean, right. out of the box, and I'm thinking about the, you know, my family members, not the geeks that yeah. that have to have a product that works that could just open up, take that out of the box, and just do stuff. Right. Right. That's the appeal of the iPad, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah. That's and what they do well, and I really think that WebOS has already got a leg up on Android and from my actual, what I've seen and experienced. Right, right. No doubt about so, that. You know, it, it, there's been uh, the, the, the term post PC has been flying around, you know, over the past week. There were a couple of yeah. editorials and, you know, yeah. And, um, uh, but I, but I think the sentiment is true, and I think the way you just put it, you know, is something that I I sort of struggle to talk about in a way, you know, that makes sense to our core audience, which is more of, you know, at least the commenters on, on the blog, tech blogs, the tech videos, all that stuff. You know, sometimes, sometimes I refer to them as the vocal minority. But, you know, these are kind of more of the geeks, more of the enthusiasts, and... and you know, and those are the people who I learn a lot from through the comments, even if we disagree. Try to find a way to, you know, talk to them about that notion that 
in the bigger scheme of things, when you're talking about shipping millions of products, you know, yeah, you want to create buzz, you want to have good specs, you want to, you know, um, appeal to those people and to the people like you and me who, you know, write and, and talk to these people. But you got to have it work right out of the box. You got to have it be, you know, simple and solid at those day to day tasks, like you were just saying. And, and you know, the family analogy, you know, can I can I can mom open it up and get it working? And is it going to do anything for her? You know, is uh, is huge. Um, I also, you know, I, I also wonder about how HP is going to make a difference in terms of, I mean, you alluded to it, they have to release these things and, you know, lots of comments about, you know, we're cutting way down on the, on the time from launch to ship and leading up to the event, I even, you know, part of me was thinking, man, maybe they're going to go on sale today. You know, they're going to announce yeah. that, that they're on sale today and, and no summer. And it looked ready, quite frankly. I didn't see any deficiencies. Right. So how much of a you know how much of a difference is HP going to make? And you know they obviously have deep distribution channels. They have deals with you know the big box retailers, the online retailers, the whole thing. You know how important do you think that that's going to be um, relative to again in my eyes nothing against Sprint, but being locked into Sprint with the pre for that first year was you know one nail on the coffin the um you know they had some build quality issues stuff like that with the, the original pre the marketing campaign was another nail in the coffin to me those those ads the with, creepy girl ads the creepy girl ads were just you know terrible and so yeah. you know how much of a difference can hp make relative to that stuff and how big of a difference do you think you know that needs to be well i think they can make a big difference and and I think they will as they, I think right now they're focused, the people that I've talked to at HP, they're focused on getting getting it released properly. Um, the big difference I think that will, that, that HP is going to bring is the instant back support. I mean, it's going to be great. Um, quite frankly, they're good at that. And so they just need to get it released and get everything in place. And they're still going to have the same situation with the apps and the developers, but uh, what I, a lot of people don't realize is after HP first bought, bought Palm, you know, and brought brought them into the organization, mm -hmm. they were still doing the pre two and the other phones they had, and they were upgrading WebOS for the smartphones and stuff. Right, and they knew they needed more apps, so they actually made an internal competition that a lot of people didn't hear about okay where they said okay all you smart hp employees we have here write apps and we're going to give prizes for the best apps they wrote almost five thousand apps wow I didn't in know less that. than a month wow okay they didn't make a big deal about it because that was the whole point the whole point right. was just get good solid apps into the marketplace right. which they're there right and so I think they have a shot at getting there long term. And like I like I said before, no one's going to catch Apple anyway. Their no. their, 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 their head starts too far. So I think the the key here is focus on the core functionality, which looks really really it, good. No, to it, me. it really does. I, I agree. I, I, I really came away with the impression that I could pick one of those up today, and just start doing what I do. Right. And right. that's that's a big deal. That that out of box experience is really vital, and that's what Apple's so good at, and what Google and Honeycomb and now Motorola with the Zoom is so bad at. Because, quite frankly, Honeycomb was rushed to market. It's not yeah, ready. No, it's it not. should it shouldn't it's be there. It's it's incredibly frustrating to people who know how it could be and should be like yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. as opposed to what it is and yeah and uh and, and i've gone you know to be fair people people watching this who who followed my coverage you know maybe thinking like wait no what's up man you're flip-flopping on this like i thought you didn't I'm, like i'm fishing for a sponsor <laughs> your logo here um you know i i, I kind of went back and forth when i first saw a honeycomb uh in in a similar what you're saying a, a hands-off demo at the launch at ces I was really starstruck by it. I was like, wow, this looks different than Android. This might be kind of cool. 
And then when I saw it, you know, kind of more up close, I was like, no, it's just Android, but with a different, you know, kind of a Tron skin on it. And then I got the Zoom and I started using it and I actually liked it more than I thought I would. But then, I, I, I actually still like it, quite, yeah. to but tell the, you the truth. But the more I used it, the more those things came out. Like you were saying, like it's just not quite ready. It's another kind of typical Google, you know, beta product. Or I don't want to say Google because it's not just Google, you know. No, no, but, that's true. And, and uh, one thing that I've done with Honeycomb, because it does look so much better and different than the old Android. That's right. why we like it because right. we've been playing with this stuff <laughs> I've handed the Zoom to a bunch of different people who are not techies. Yeah. Like I always do. Just, here, what do you think of this? Yeah. And the main reason is so I can observe their reaction and how intuitive they find it. Absolutely. Can, can they just do it? Honeycomb isn't it. No. no. It's too much of a desktop metaphor. Yeah. It's got controls all around the place and yeah. all four corners of the yeah. screen. Yeah. They're not consistent within from one app to the next. Yeah. And I, as I've been observing that while I've been review, evaluating this thing, it, that's when I, the, the impressions of WebOS and the touchpad have really started right, right. eating on me because right. I guarantee you I could just hand, hand that to any one of the same people and they'd say, Oh wow! Well, I love the email. Oh wow! Well, I love Facebook. You right, know, I, right, right. I love doing this. Right. You know, that's out of box experience. Game over at yeah. that point. Yeah, there there was an interesting article I read that uh, I think was linked off of uh, off of Gruber's blog, um, but it was about notifications. Daring Fireball. Yes, should... off of Daring Fireball. Get, I'm sorry. Get the yeah, plug. I, uh, get the plug in. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm like you know you know what Gruber's blog is, and so yes, yeah. Daring Fireball. Which um, I, I read regularly, so there's a plug. Dot net. Yes, um, and uh, and I and I forget. I'm remiss here because I forget who authored the article, but it was about the problem of notifications, and you know how do you deal with with notifications? You know, and, and the article. And that's written, still terrible on the iPad and iOS. Right. Well, and that's right. the article was written from that perspective of you know mm -hmm. what's Apple going to do? They got to do something. But, but it was talking about something that I hadn't thought about, which was, you know, the, the, art, the author of the article was, was praising WebOS for its handling of notifications, which I fully agree with. And that. it's even better on the touchpad, it, it, what I saw. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Yep, it does. It looks terrific. You could triage your email without even opening the email app. Right, right. right. And that's just freaking right, cool. Right. <laughs> and so one of the things that they were talking about was how um, – Google puts, you know, in Android, and it's different on Honeycomb, but in, in 1.x and 2.x, they put all the notifications on top. And they've mm -hmm. got that, that you know, uh, status bar and you can pull the window down. And right. how in Apple's uh, human interface design guidelines or whatever they call it for OS X develop or uh, iOS developers, they talk about how the most often used controls on a mobile device should be at the bottom. So that you can get to them with your thumbs without having to, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, it's something I hadn't thought about before, but you know, it's interesting because, uh, and so that's how Palm does it. But Palm has or HP now, WebOS has that nice way of, of stacking them up, and there's more information. You can slide them out the whole thing. Honeycomb has them on the bottom as well, but yes. I, I've I've been noticing on the Zoom that I will get. You know, if I, if I use the device, put it away, come back to it, you know, a couple hours later, I'll have multiple notifications from the same apps down there. I've got two yeah, Twitter it's, icons. Yeah, it's, it's not well I mean, done. Yeah, yeah, and it's that kind of stuff. that. And, you know, and that's, that's exactly right. And um, when I was using my original pre, and I had one of the original pre's from day one, mm -hmm. The, the, the WebOS notification system has been outstanding from day one. They, they got it right. Yeah. Palm did. Yep. They nailed it. It has, been, it has obviously evolved because what was on the touchpad that we saw last month was even better. Yeah. I mean, it, it just looks like it's well done. So I just personally can't wait to see that thing get released yeah. because... I think from a sheer 
usability standpoint, it is the most competitive alternative I've seen to the iPad to date. Right. I mean, yep. no question in my mind. Right. Right. And so let's get it out there and let people start but, playing yeah. with it. Get get marketing going and let's uh, because we need competition. Competition's good. I mean, I love the right. iPad, and I'm not saying. It's not good enough for everybody no, because right, it, right, yeah. you know maybe it is, maybe it's not. But competition's good, and I I'm really anxious no, to see I that agree. get up. I'm, there. I'm 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 kind of excited still for the flyer too, which uh, some rumors kicking around. The flyer spring, looks good, but you know that's very telling good. that HTC went with gingerbread and not yeah. honey. Yep. Because they know honeycomb is not ready. Yeah. And they're not going to release a device with right. A, right. Right. With it. Yeah. And so that's that's telling too. I'm looking forward to that. I'll tell you what I'd love to see is the uh, the rumored later this year seven inch WebOS tablet. Yeah. Because, I, because personally, I'm a seven inch tablet guy. I, I like that form factor too. The, the I, I love it. I've got a Nook Color. I, I was going to say before, you know, and then I, I check myself because that's getting a little carried away. Um, when you were saying that touchpad looks like, you know, perhaps the best competitor for iPad right now, Nook Color, I, to say that would be hyperbole, but I do think, you know, there's something, and maybe it just comes back to simplicity, but for people who, the form factor, the 7 inch is great, the price, 250 bucks, 200 lately on sale, terrific, the, the e-reader functionality, you know, it's a customized version of Android of, of 2.x. And uh, so the Barnes & Noble layer on it, connecting to their services, books and magazines and stuff, really easy to use, really attractive. And then it's got a web browser. And, yeah. you know, if they threw email in there, which, you know, uh, again, there's an, there's a, or not again, but <laughs> I say again because I was thinking about the email conversation I'm having with their PR person. There's, a, there's an app store coming. Not sure when just yet. You throw email on there, it's got an audio player built in. How much more does, you know, to go back to the mom analogy, how much more does that person need? And, and maybe that's a little bit of a 180 when I was talking about apps before, but it is sort of this dichotomy that on the one hand, apps are hot, everybody's buying apps, apps are making money, apps can do so much stuff. On the other hand, you know, what you're talking about with the out of, there you go, right? With a web Galaxy Tab, if yep. for the viewers who are wondering, that's my favorite mobile device right now also a seven inch it's seven inch and it's running froyo which is good enough quite frankly but yeah. it's not as polished as what i saw on the touchpad and web os no, no so no, no. let's get it out there come yep. on All hp right. well or at least or at least send one over here there you know? go. exactly exactly well speaking of get it out there i'm looking at the clock and uh we got we got some feedback that the the length of the first show people seem to like it so so let's put a cap on it for now, and we'll uh, we'll come back. We'll next always Thursday. be back. It gives us more to talk about next time. Exactly, exactly. The uh, well, I can't say it on air. Some somebody somebody likened uh, Steve Jobs' marketing strategy to um, that of a oh how shall we say adult performer who's always teasing you that there's something more, but uh, you know knows that if they reveal it all, you know, that's it. You're done. You're going to leave. So, so Well, that's said, true. But to his credit, then they deliver. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's what the competition has got to learn how to do, Right. quite right. frankly. All right. HP, you've heard it, you know. what's gonna, One last thing before we go, actually. There's an HP event coming up soon that um, the, the CEO is, is Yeah. Speaking. I don't yeah, know what you know that's about, about that? though. Yeah. No. no, I don't. I mean, HP's business is so broad, it, Could who knows? But it, yeah. I mean, they're one of the biggest PC makers in the right. world. So. But, but dropping little bits of information this, all the this time. This tablet stuff is just fun and games off to the side for it, them. It is, although, you know, it's But it's moving that way. I mean, that's a whole other mm -hmm. show because... Right. Right. And they and they know that. That's why, they're, they're that's why they bought Palm. The they paid yeah. over... a. One point two billion dollars for Palm. They're right. serious. They right. know this. Yep, and they're putting so. WebOS on all the PCs in some form. And I know, think that's brilliant. Yeah. Quite yeah. All right, but for another show, for another show. Yeah. You said a billion dollars. I immediately thought about Microsoft and, and Nokia, but another show, another show. 
Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So in the meantime, people who want uh, want more from you, sir, where where can they go on ZDNet? I'm at ZDNet.com slash blog slash mobile dash news. Terrific. Or just look at for mobile news on ZDNet. There I'm there. All right. Till next time. I'm Noah next Kravitz time. from I'm Techno Jake Buffalo Kendrick. out here in uh, foggy, foggy Oakland, California. I just look out the window. It's looking like a... Uh, a scene from one of the Twilight movies out there. Kind of crazy. 60 degrees sunny here in Houston. There you go. James, always a pleasure. We'll do you it again too, next Noah. Week. All right. See ya.